Last week we left Rome at, I don't know, let's call it uh, the turn of the first millennia, under the reign of Caesar Augustus um, from the first couple of years BC until the first couple of years AD. Rome as an empire continues to expand. Um, it gets huge, as you can see from this map, and by 117, it's at its largest. But one of the things that happens as Rome expands is it comes in contact with lots of groups of people that don't necessarily want to be Roman, right? So Germanic tribes, the same ones that Julius Caesar fought um, along the Rhine River, uh, Angles and Saxons in Britain, um, Vandals in North Africa, new emerging empires in the East. And one of the things that ends up happening is that much of the Western Empire kind of goes into decline as Germanic tribes are able to push back against Rome and are able to have many decisive victories. And because of this, in the 300s, a guy who is Caesar, um, a guy who is the emperor of Rome by the name of Constantine, decides that where the empire is doesn't match with where its capital is. Most of the wealth and most of the success of Rome comes from really wealthy provinces near where Persia had been, so Asia Minor. Um, all of the headache is coming from areas like Germany and France and Spain and England. And so what Constantine decides to do is relocate its capital. 